We have been fielding emails and messages right and left from our followers wanting to know when the next Tiny House Adventures Rendezvous is going to be and where it's going to be. Right? Yes. <laughs> well, we're fixing to tell you. Hang on. Hi, Bill. Be Hi, Hi, Bill. Bill. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> really. Hi, hi, Bill. Hi, hi, hi Deb. Hi. <laughs> hi, everybody. This is Bill and Deb. Yeah. Yes, it is. <laughs> we, we hope you all had a wonderful Saturday. Well, technically, you know, it's still Saturday. For us. Yeah, well, for them, too, as, if they're watching it when it releases. Until midnight. Yeah, yeah until midnight. <laughs> yeah. And in whatever time zone they happen to be in. We're having a hard time getting used to that, you know, because we... We are our our residence, or, you know, or our home base area is in Central Time Zone, and now we're in Eastern Time Zone. Mm -hmm. Just wait till we start traveling out west, and then we do. Oh, will be a basket case. A <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't know if we're coming or going. <laughs> but anyway, we've been getting uh, uh, messages right and left, emails wanting to know because people want to, uh, you know, attend. A lot of people want to attend. And we have chosen a campground. The next Tiny House Adventures Rendezvous. All right. <laughs> and, you know, we are calling it the Spring Tiny House Adventures Rendezvous. It's technically still spring here. Whatever. Technically still spring. I'll remind you of that when you're sweating. <laughs> well, we don't know that it's going to be like that. But anyway, shall we tell them where it's going to be first before we move on to anything else? Sounds like a great idea. Okay. Do you want to tell them or do you want me to tell them? I can tell them. Okay. I will even read that. Okay. And we'll also put the link to make reservations in the uh, in the description of this. And once the video releases, I can't do it until then, then uh, we'll also put a link uh, to this campground yes. in the comment section. Yes, because be there's, there's two of these campgrounds nationwide. Mm -hmm. So be sure you get the one in the correct state. Yeah, yeah. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. Right. It is the Greenville Greenville Campground on Wapapella Lake in Missouri. Yes, and it's near Greenville, Missouri. Yes. Yeah. Now, Greenville, Missouri itself is a small little town. They have a Dollar General, a gas station, and a post office. Well, and they a have a high school. Of places. Yeah, they have a high school, <laughs> a nice high school. And it's about three miles from um, Greenville Campground. Now, the interesting thing about this area, though, is at one time, the city of Greenville actually was located pretty much right where the campground is. Yes. But they had to move it. Because it kept flooding. Uh, because of the flooding situation, yeah. Because the St. So, Francis... Uh, River? Yeah, it's actually, even though they say it's on Lake Wapapello, where you're actually at, it's, in our opinion, it's still a river, which yeah. is the St. Francis River. Yeah. Not according to the Corps. I know. I it's know. a Corps of Engineer campground. Yes, yes. Um, because we go like to go there because of prices. It's better for us and yeah. better for a lot of you. Uh, but let's give the dates right quick. Okay. The dates are, now i got to double check myself. <laughs> It's in June, June 10th, which is a Monday, June 10th through the 14th, which is a Friday. Arrive on the 10th, which is the Monday, depart on Friday, and that lets the weekend warriors, the weekend campers still use the weekends for their camping. Right. Now, back to this spring and summer kind of thing. <laughs> Technically, summer does not begin till what, June 21th? June 21st. Okay, people. So, We're 10 days. Yeah. And I know, I know, <laughs> folks, we, it, we really battle with the decision um, as to when to, to make set up the dates for. And in this particular area, and we don't live too awful far, well, our home area is not real awful far okay. from, from this area. Go ahead. May is always iffy, and even sometimes in the beginning of June is iffy. So we don't know. You know, it could be cool, it could be hot. It could be rainy, but, you know, we're just doing the best we can when it comes to that. There were other factors, too. Okay, is why as of right now, mm -hmm. if you're wanting to make your reservation for June the 10th, technically you cannot get in there to make that reservation until December the 10th, which is tomorrow. Right. 
This is why we're so doing if you're this going in there now. and trying to make your reservation right now for the June the tenth, it's going to tell you you can't do it. Right. So as of uh, 10 a.m. Eastern time, Sunday, December the tenth, you should be able to make a reservation for June the tenth. And if not, wait a few more minutes and try it again. Yeah. Wait a few more minutes and try it again. Now. If you're wanting to try to come a few days earlier, uh, you could possibly go in right after this video is over with and try to make a reservation. Well, I checked the it six for month window. Right, right. I checked it for today. Of course, I had to go through this weekend a little bit to check. So the weekends, this is a very popular campground with the local people, mm -hmm. and I have a feeling that on the weekends they're pretty booked. So don't get discouraged. They do have 95 sites for single campers, standard camping, and then they have several that are buddy sites, but you can't use your senior discount on a buddy site. Right, right, right. So. But if you happen to be traveling with someone and they have an RV, you have an RV, then you all could grab a buddy site you know and you have a pretty good chance but you got to get both of them and a buddy site will each have their own electric hookups and their own get listen to this very carefully their own sewer yes every, every single site has sewer at has the water site. electric and sewer yes um this particular campground we did a review of this campground last august i believe it was because mm -hmm. we stayed there uh, it has great places to ride our bicycles or to just walk. It's mm -hmm. got a lot of history there. It's got several Confederate war. Uh, well, there were some battles fought in the area. Yes, and so there's that, a lot of history there. Yes, you know, and it this, was also yeah. part of the Trail of Tears. Mm -hmm. And like Bill is saying, they actually moved the city of Greenville to a different location. So you've got city foundations still around, which they have plaques everywhere that makes it interesting, I think. Let's elaborate. Let's back up a little bit and elaborate a little more on this six-month window thing that I started to mention a minute ago, and you cut me off. <laughs> it's a Corps of Engineer campground. Now, the Corps of Engineers will not allow you to make a reservation more than six months in advance. And for the dates that we have chosen for the rendezvous, the six-month window, as Deb was explaining earlier, officially opens up tomorrow. And that's when you can start making reservations. For the dates that we mentioned. Beginning that the, the beginning day of the, uh, the rendezvous. Now here again, if you wanted to try to get a site a few days earlier, that's possible that you could uh, go in there and possibly grab earlier, uh, earlier days, you know, and arrive early. But here again, as Deb mentioned a moment ago, the main reason why we lay this out the way we do is to allow for uh, the weekend warriors to come in and, and do their thing. And then we try to lay it out where we have the rendezvous, the actual festivities, you know, in the middle of the week. Now, we did not reserve this campground. You know, we're just going to be a bunch of other campers there. So, you know, keep that in mind. What we're alluding to here is if you want to attend... It is imperative that you make your reservation tomorrow. As soon it's as possible. As soon as possible. Now, to give you an idea where this is located, you're looking at a map right now, and what we thought we might do is uh, use a location that people are familiar with as far as where it sets in the United States of America, and that would be St. Louis. And you're looking at the map right now, the Google map, uh, the campground is roughly about two miles, two. almost two hours, <laughs> two miles. The campground is two hours, roughly, due south of uh, St. Louis. You know, it's near, not too far from the boot heel of Missouri. Uh, it's within, what, 20-some miles, 25 miles or so of Poplar Bluff, Missouri. If Which that is will the give closest you location to go buy groceries. Yeah, to, to buy. Of any quantity. Yeah, of quantity. So... Make sure you have your groceries and everything there. So anyway, that gives you an idea about that. Now let's take a look at the, briefly, and you're looking at the uh, the map of the campground right now. And this will be and, posted on our website. Yes, it the will. Map. Yes, it will. But first thing I want you to notice is, uh, especially for those that like to ride bikes, and at our last rendezvous, just about everybody had a bike. It was fun. We, yeah. you know, oh, if you watched the video, we, we had, had a, a great blast. time. Yeah, we had a blast. But... <laughs> 
if you're you're looking at the map right now, and the first thing I want to mention is the red dotted line that you see around the edges of the campground. That is a dedicated paved bike trail. And of course it goes on beyond when you look in the upper left hand corner of this uh, uh, of the map here, you'll see an arrow that says to city of Greenville. You can literally ride on a bike trail all the way Dollar to the General. city of Greenville. <laughs> and I'll mention something else about that here in a moment, but I want to keep the map up right now. Um, you see the, 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 the black dotted lines kind of towards the lower right hand corner of the, uh, of the map here. That's where the old city used to be and the old city of Greenville right in there. And you'll still see foundations left behind and if you, uh, you can ride along there, walk along there, whatever, and there's all kinds of interesting plaques showing you know, what house this might have been at one time or what business it was at one time and things like that. It's really interesting. Uh, and of course you see uh, the St. Francis River, technically what Lake Wapapello, uh, you know, running along the left side of the map. But now this, this bike trail is a wonderful bike trail. And as you're going along down this bike trail, eventually you come up to a tunnel that you go through uh, before you get into uh, the, the, the actual town of Greenville. Now, we have never tried it, but other videos we've watched, some folks have uh, visited the, uh, there's a little hamburger place there, and they say that they serve the best ice cream in the area. We don't know. We didn't so try it. So we don't it. know. We never tried it, but it, if you want to go for a nice bike, and, and this bike trail is beautiful. It's, you know, heavily wooded. Parts of it, you're riding along the St. Francis River, um, but it's, it's gorgeous. It's, it's really neat and a lot of fun. So anyway, that's a lot to look forward to there. Now, in addition to that, you can see how the, the campground is laid out here. And we're going to tell you this right now. There is no such thing as, a, in our opinion, because we've been here before, uh, there is no such thing as a bad site. Not that we saw. Yeah. Most, they are all really, really nice and level. If you have to do anything to level it up side to side, it's going to be very, very little. The site that we were in, we didn't have to do anything. We just backed in. I checked it, and it was perfectly level side to side, and, and that was great. So, you know, don't worry about any of these sites, for that matter, you know, in, in our opinion. And lots of people ride bikes. This, this, is a, this is a cyclist heaven here. And when we were there... Uh, periodically, every day, people would get out and they'd all get together and there would be like this big train of cyclists, you know, riding around inside the campground. It was pretty cool. And then in the evening, uh, we like to sit and watch them. A lot of, a lot of, and I want some of those, but a lot of them had these lighted spokes on their yeah. bikes <laughs> riding around and you could see these bikes going along, you know, and these uh, lit up spokes and stuff. It, it was just cool. Uh, beautiful campground, level sites. Most of them have really nice shade in them. Uh, we, uh, anyway, that's all I need to talk about that. Is there anything else that you can think of? No, as we far just as um, hope a lot of you can come. We're looking forward to meeting new people and revisiting with people we already know. And um, we will have activities every evening, which we will be in, you know, it'll be on the website. Not right now, because I haven't figured that all out. First thing we had to do is figure out the dates and where. Yeah. Yeah. And then that should be all live on the website. My girl's working on that and uh, should be up and going. Mm -hmm. And that's all I got to say about it. Well, um, uh, I want to show them a picture of our site where we were last time. Oh, okay. And we got the same site again this time, correct? That is correct. Okay. So uh, anyway, uh, you're looking at the site that we had last time, and uh, we just loved it there. And that'll give you an idea. Most all the sites are very similar to what you're looking at right there. You know, there's a few in a loop back towards the back of the loop area. There's a few, there's pull a few throughs. that are pull-throughs, but there's one little loop back towards the back in there where the where some people complain, saying that they were we were read reviews and they said, oh, we were kind of closer together back there. I didn't see that I didn't at all. See it. You know, I when we were riding it. on our bikes, I didn't see any place where are I felt like. Are you going to say what we were, site you're at? I don't even know what site it is. You want to tell me? No, let's don't say. Okay, go ahead. So. We're at site 31. Yeah, okay. And that's where we'll be, we'll do the meet and greet Monday night. That's where we'll be yes. doing the meet and greet is at site 31. Uh, and you're looking at the site right now. And, and 
we chose this site again mainly because I mean there's such a wide open space there right, behind where we can gather where people can just all gather we're just gonna hope you know that you the know, weather's we, good <laughs> we can't predict the weather <laughs> nope you know so anyway uh, repeat the dates again sweetheart the dates are June the 10th through the 14th come in on the 10th and leave on the 14th <laughs> Yeah, and it's located roughly two hours south of uh, St. Louis. That'll give you an idea where it's at uh, geographically in the country. Give you an idea how far you have to travel. You can Google map it. There will be a link, like I say, in the description and in the very first comment in the comment thread um, that uh, will have all that information. There'll be, it's, it's a pinned green, comment. It's the Greenville Campground, mm -hmm. and it's in Greenville, Missouri, on the Wapapello Lake. That's yes. how you would look it up at recreation.gov. Yeah. yeah, Lake Wapapello. Um, so anyway, uh, I guess that's about it. That's it. We need to say this one more time. Mm -hmm. We cannot stress this enough, <laughs> folks. Now, Deb looked this morning based on if you were to go in and try to make a reservation today there was roughly about 65 sites available right but that included this weekend which like i told you yeah. the weekends fill up right um, right so you know so we cannot tell you how imperative it is to if you think you want to go if you wait and decide a month later and I'll try to go and get a site, you might not be able to get one. This is a very, very, well, very popular campground. At the last rendezvous, we had 87 sites reserved for our, I mean, we didn't reserve them, but no. 87 reservations, which is the other thing I would like for you to do. If When you get your reservation, if you would please email us your name, of course, your site number, and the dates that you booked it for. And that just helps us keep an idea of the number of people that are coming. Yes. Yeah, that helps us a lot right there. Uh, but here again, I cannot, let me say this one more time. If you wait and, and decide 30 days from now or two months from now that you would, oh, I think I would like to go, the chances of you being able to get a site is going to be very, very, very slim. Because like we say, as far as the Corps of Engineers is concerned, we're just another bunch of campers so it's not right. like we set aside a bunch mm -hmm. of sites for our people there will be other people there as well and let's say this too one more time you do not have to have a cargo trailer conversion to come to our rendezvous no no you don't you you can come in a traditional rv we had lots of folks that showed up with traditional rvs at the last rendezvous Tents, and the ones before that car campers yes vans yeah. schoolies it's, this is more about <laughs> fellowship with yes. of like-minded people is what this is about so don't even ask that question there's no need to ask that question you know but uh we're going to be planning the events as we go and we'll update you on those things as we go yes you know but uh, hopefully uh, the dates work out for y'all that you can come to this. Um, I think you're going to really enjoy it. And there's a lot of stuff to see in that area, too. Um, and there are neighboring campgrounds. I can't remember the name of it right now, but we there stayed at one about, about 20 miles away. Yeah, too. I was going to say about 20 miles away. Yeah, there's on other the campgrounds. Yeah, but. actually on Lake Wapapello. Um, but, you know, we can, we can research them for you, you know, if you ask if, if you can't get a site there. But here again... All these sites, all these campgrounds around the lake there in this area, they're all very popular. All very popular. It's kind of like Beaver Lake in a way, you know. Kind of, sort of, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so anyway, I don't know what else to say. I don't know what else to say other than we hope you can uh, join us. We'll be planning the festivities as we go. We already know that Campground Bingo is going to be one of Oh, these. yeah. Yeah, that's been a hit at the last two. Um I just put up a video of uh, the concert that I did at the last uh, rendezvous, and I've been getting favorable comments on that. So we'll pro we know we'll have so a concert. So I'll probably play music again, <laughs> and hopefully, now that I have my work studio here and everything, mm -hmm. I'll find more time to sit down and practice more, and I have a whole another different set of songs to do as well, uh, and keep it lively and everything. So uh, that's just a couple of items as far as any kind of a special grand prize giveaway we don't know yet we don't know yet i'm sure there'll be something we'll be reaching out to some of the folks that uh you know we've done stuff for in the past reviews on products and see who 
would be uh, willing to uh, you know invest in it but we usually wait on that for a little while just to see how many people are going to be coming to the rendezvous because this gives these other sponsors incentives you know to take part in what we're doing so uh, here again let's ask we ask you please to email us once you get your site reserved that kind of helps us get an idea and what's how your many email address be there I ride tiny house at gmail.com I ride, I ride tiny, house. tiny house adventures that at gmail is our email I'm sorry you were right you were wrong I was wrong I was given our website <laughs> The email is iridetinyhouse at gmail.com, iridetinyhouse at gmail.com. The website is iridetinyhouseadventures.com. There you go. That sounds right. You're right. <laughs> it's, it's not difficult, but anyway, uh, I finally got it down. But uh, email us at iridetinyhouse at gmail.com, and we will... Uh, that way we can keep a record of what's going on. Anything else? I don't think so. All right. We're going to let you go now. This is Bill and Deb with iRide Tiny House Adventure, <laughs> where you can email us at iridetinyhouse at gmail.com, or you can go to our website at iridetinyhouseadventures.com, <laughs> Woo -woo! saying we're not camping. We are living. Y'all get out there and do some living, and we will see you again soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now.